you doing? Your front coilovers, but everything's freaking seized in this car. So, my brother's gonna be installing the front coilovers. Not sure if you guys heard about Art Shop Max, something like that. I'm gonna send the link down below about this coilover and see and i could give you some reviews if it's good if it's not good for the genesis coupe that's what we're doing i'm stuck here for two weeks it's already monday the second week and i'm still here why because the cross member connected as you can see the control arms is stuck rusted trying to cut it <laughs> there's no other ways to do it So the ratio we're running into is that the Parts Shop Pro Max, I think that's how you call it. Um, it's about a half inch thick. The core right here that connects to the to the knuckle and regular coilovers are about a quarter inch thick, which is then resulting to our issue that our regular bolt doesn't fit. Cause by the time it goes in, it's only gonna stay up to here and the nut won't lock in at all. Look at this. So now that's our dilemma right now. We're gonna try to shoot up to AutoZone real quick. We need about a three and a half, in three and a half inch long bolt uh, with about a, core, a half inch thickness and diameter. Um, so let's try to achieve that and obtain it. Try to get it and come back hopefully because if it's not one thing, it's another. Mm. Fred, your build is something else, man. It's a Honda. <laughs> they should put a disclaimer. You know, no, nothing, no shade to them. I think their product is phenomenally done the way I'm looking at it, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna ride well. Yeah, the construct, it's good. It's uh, really constructed. But I would definitely suggest like a disclaimer. Like you may need new bolts. So basically, we need new hardware. Two? We need two? Four. One, two, and the other two sides. So, four. And the other two sides, the other side is not coming out. And do we need for the rear? We won't even know. We won't know till that day comes. So, let's get. Let's, let's make a dummy for it for, for now. This. For this side. Yeah, well, we don't have the cross member. All right. All right. So, basically, they gave us this. This, this is for the control arm. We're going to test fit. As we said earlier, the front needs new bolts, so we're just going to test it in order to get bolts for the rear as well. Keep in mind, this is with uh, a little tie like this. Uh, once you take it off, these are detachable, so don't drop it. They are magnetic too, I think, because it's literally just held on. You see? Yeah. We're going to bring this in. We're going to do the honors. I'm putting it in. <laughs> pause also if you guys uh, do get this don't panic check all your boxes the hardware was in one box so don't panic if your hardware is in there just check all the boxes the front i didn't record that i'm sorry because fred wasn't here but hopefully we show you with the driver's side there are bolts that they provide for the top hat it's going to be a 17 if i'm not mistaken and they have um they come with a nut as well so I'll show you that whenever we touch the driver's side. Hey guys, we're back. We're losing daylight already. 
good news we did get the subframe cross member however you want to you guys want to call it we got it back with the new bushings and the control arms finally cut off we were making a lot of noise and for some reason all of the tools we was using was taking longer than usual we didn't have time so we just took it to a shop locally who can handle the job and do it very fast and let me show you guys how the result is so we have right here they put all the new bushings on they cut off all the old control arms that's how it looks right now we primed over the rusted spots also the differential as well now we're gonna prep we're gonna clean it up prep it paint it and leave it overnight so it can dry so we can put on all the control arms tomorrow and hopefully this can, bad boy can go back on the car by tomorrow evening and then friday it should go for an alignment and red should be ready to go back to me. little slight problem we have the d2s oops i don't know if you can see the d2s that we have here is the last one however we can't take it out because that bolt is honestly stuck there and it's already stripping the next option is to take it straight to where we're getting it aligned which is at poppy fly shop which is fly air he can probably get this out with a torch or something or banging it or whatever maneuver he has we're gonna leave that for him let him handle that Up, man. Wondering how we're gonna break all of this up. I feel like so much has happened this whole week. How are we gonna break up this whole videos? <laughs> we're only doing this because it's already getting replaced. All of this, you see this box? This is the control arms. sun has come <laughs> okay as you can see I already primered now I'm doing one stage of aluminum this is what I'm doing and I might get that several look and also the differential yeah that's what I'm doing this is what I'm doing let the sun bake that's my oven the sun is my oven yeah i got like two days to get this car ready because i have to go home this one if somebody's interested i think he put my brother posted up on facebook all the information is there be aware bro this control arms and the sway bus all that stuff man all the bolts are seized up i had to take it to the to the shop to the nearest shop and Yo, they good peoples. They helped me out. They cut the bolts. All oh, the seeds bolts. And I, that's why I'm having trouble with. I would have been finished this project. But those seeds bolts, is not, it's not doing it. 
there's one problem on the driver's side but one of those bolts is seized up in there i can't remove the coilovers and me and my brother we're gonna be installing this very soon after 10 years having touched this dude um i don't know about you guys if you have one of this genesis coupe and you haven't touched the rears or the bolts for the fronts dude you better do it you're gonna end up like me <laughs>